so I suggest uh, picking it up. If you want to know more about what I thought of this comic book, you can go to my website and check out my review in more depth. You'll have to excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold, so uh, bear with me, okay? Next book I'm going to be talking about is The Hood, uh, Dark Coming Out of the Dark Rain series. This is number two of five, written by Jeff Parker and art done by Kyle Holtz. Um, I'm really enjoying this series. I think that Jeff Parker is doing a fantastic job with this character. Um, you know, it's funny because, you know, he makes you, even though the hood is a bad guy, you kind of root for him, you know, because he's, you know, you see this two-sided coin um, scenario going on with the hood. We have, uh, we have the hood basically with his family life and you see him with his wife and his daughter and him dealing with his mother and his mother's um, illnesses and then we see him as a crime lord and see him doing some pretty nasty things to people but this issue in particular was I think even better than the very first issue I read of this issue number one because you see a really awesome fight scene in this in the initial uh, first few pages that go on between um, a character by the name of White Fang and she pretty much unleashes a giant mega sized ass whooping on the hood and um, it's not until you know he's pretty much almost beaten to death that he invokes his demonic spirit and is able to uh, overcome her and um, keep her at bay and save his own arse and uh, from there it just goes on and and you you know you get to see more of the storyline developing the inner turmoil that the hood basically feels and how he's dealing with everything uh, really really good issue um, once again I have done a pretty in-depth review of it on my website go to go check it out and um, yeah I suggest if you haven't been reading Dark Rain the Hood pick it up it's two issues in so you haven't missed much just yet but definitely definitely uh, one of the best books coming out of the whole Dark Rain series in my opinion and the last book I'm going to talk about is coming out of the whole off the whole Battle of the Cowl um, saga and it is Batman Reborn Gotham City Sirens and this is done by Paul Dini and the art is done by Gwilym March and I would like to say that I like this book but I can't I just found this book really not good it fucking sucked in my opinion and why? Because the story is pretty fucking lame. Um, the art, I think, if you like cheesecake art, yeah, you know what? It's nice to look at. I mean, Harley Quinn is drawn <coughs> as a playful schoolgirl, and, you know, uh, Poison Ivy is, uh, you know, drawn as she normally is depicted. Very chesty, very bosomy, very feminine. And, um,. Catwoman? Ah, uh, I really don't think she was drawn all that well, to tell you the truth. Out of the three, I think she was probably the, the least uh, flatteringly drawn, if that's even a word. But, um, yeah, I really thought that the story was weak. I didn't see the point of the three of them banding together, why the three of them have to be together. And I was expecting to like this book because, you know, Paul Dini was on it, and I thought that, you know, he would come with a better story than what he did. Um, just a giant, big, fat fucking disappointment. And I really don't want to pick up the second issue. I mean, there are some people who want to pick it up because, you know, Paul Dini's writing it and, you know, hopefully they're optimistic that 
it'll get better and you know what I hope that it does because if you've already you know spent money on the first issue then of course you want to kind of continue to read the miniseries and see where it goes you want the series to get better but I just can't you know I just I just can't get into this book I think that they portray women not in the most flattering light um, that whole there's the scene in here with uh, Poison Ivy trying to speak to the Tana and really I mean it's one thing for her to be in a flimsy robe with her chest sort of out and but then there's this whole bondage thing that kind of happens which is pretty unnecessary if you ask me um, in this first issue they refer you know one of the crappy crappy characters that they've created for this book some z-list uh, villain basically calls uh, these women um, biatches already in the first issue I mean I wish they would have waited until at least the second or third issue before they started calling us bitches and hoes but anyways um, I don't want to go on a feminist rant here because that could go on for like hours so I will just say that if you like cheesecake art and you just want to see girls dressed in Catholic schoolgirl outfits uh, kicking ass then hey you know what this is probably the book for you if you want to read about three strong female villains ripping it up, having a good storyline, ah, I don't know, not so much. I fucking hated this book, and I really, really won't be picking up the second one. Something's got to be like totally, totally different in the second issue for me to even pick it up again. So, Jose, if you're listening, you better like tell me if you read the second one whether or not I should actually give the second issue a chance. Um. And pretty much that's it for my reviews for this week. I feel like a sack. My cold's killing me, so I'm out. But thank you for watching, and please check out my site, because there's a lot more to my reviews on there than uh, what I've posted on my podcasts. Okay, guys, take care. Peace out.